It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. It's the Buccaneers and the Panthers, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Today we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Carolina Panthers. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Chase McLaughlin to get us started. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. Powering his way forward. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And they'll come up second and seven. Young. That one complete. He finds Sharp. Seven yards there and a first down. Good throw, good catch. But I really like the route, the drag, and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and seven. Here is Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Young off the play fake. He gets this one to Hubbard complete. And he'll be taken before he works it past the 50. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. Nice. 
nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Now Young, that one tipped, and it's incomplete. What good hands there defensively at second down. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Back to throw here. And Sharp pulls it in. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 27-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. A first down throw for Young. And this one's going to sail on him a bit, and it's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second and ten. On the handoff, running left is Hubbard. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Brings up third down and 11. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. They'll try to capitalize on play number 11 of this opening drive. Third and goal. Out of the gun, it's Young. And this is going to be incomplete. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. For the Panthers field goal, a 45-yard attempt. The kick by Pinheiro is good. Ah! And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. Orchestrating the offense will be the top pick in the 2018 draft and that's Baker Mayfield. And the first possession is until the second quarter but what's nice about it it's only down three. So what you sell your team on is look one possession one drive we put it in the end zone. We're in the lead in this game. Let's go guys. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he's going to lose yardage here, back to his own 18. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Now, I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going, sometimes even before the ball snapped. And they're there and end up making the play. Mayfield looks to throw. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. First target, first catch, and a first down. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. 
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing Mayfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step down, field of man coverage, and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Here's second and ten. They run for the first time. Here we shot White. Right. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yep. Run what Put you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw, Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And they get him down the mountain before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. Nice example there. The tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. And his throw is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll throw again. Young. Through the middle of the field. He's going to have the first down and then some. Touchdown, DJ Chark, 57 yards. And the Panthers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it's DJ Chark who finishes it off with a touchdown reception.
after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. A first down throw for Mayfield. He'll get that out to the flat to White. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Second and seven from the 20. Mayfield to throw it. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. Meanwhile, Mayfield throw on target to Godwin here. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Going to the air again with Mayfield. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 40. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. Final play of the half, Mayfield. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So we we'll reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half out of the Alabama man and former number one selection, Bryce Young. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. our score as we get started again on EA Sports. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bucks' offense set to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Second and 10 now, third quarter from Charlotte. They go quickly here out to Moore. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit, but how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. First down, here's White. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch of more plays. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. They keep it on the ground, wide again. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw, Mayfield. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. That'll go as a pickup of eight. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage. Get downfield to a certain point, usually around eight to ten yards. Turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. They'll go up the middle with White. Well, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. They'll try the right side here with White. Fighting through. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Mayfield on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. They were maybe hoping for a little bit of a back shoulder fade there. And that's a play that's been in vogue the last few years in all aspects of football. But they couldn't get the hook up there. Second and 10. Now Mayfield. And a catch right side by Evans. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. This is White on the screen. And out of bounds right around the 20. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there were very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Mayfield. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They find themselves behind here to start the fourth quarter. Here now, second and four.
Mayfield now. That one was tipped up in the air and fortunately fell away for the defense because if the offense is able to grab that one, that's a short little jaunt into the end zone because there's not enough reaction time off of the tip ball for the defense to rally and make a tackle. They were very fortunate on that play. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. They run straight ahead here with White. And he won't get close. Early a yard, fourth and three. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Buccaneers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Mayfield. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Cade Otten. From three yards out. And the Bucs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And able to get this out to the 25. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. On first and 10, Young. He'll dump this one out to Hubbard. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. I think you would agree, just a good decision right there. Goes for the safe play, gets some yardage out of it. And showed some toughness as well. As you noted, he stayed right in there. Saw the rush was coming, hung in there, took the hit, dumped it out to the outside, and now they pick up some yardage, and you have a back that's grateful to you and will continue to make plays. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. From the shotgun, it's Young. And he's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. The Bucks gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So 
So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he will have a Panther first down. And it is celebration time on that sideline, and they've earned it. take a knee here. Second and 11. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw, out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeroes. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though.